All right, love it or hate it, the Neeless Carpet Stretcher is here in the United States. It's not only exclusive to our friends up across the, the border up north, the Canadians. So I'm gonna show you guys how I use the Neeless uh, and incorporate it into my carpet installation. Um, this piece of material that we're putting in here, it's an 82 ounce piece of carpet, Monte Carlo by Dreamweaver. So super, super heavy. And what I've done in the past is I've taken my knee kicker and I always like, I've got my stretch across here, so I always like to set my wall, but I always like to hook it on the pins. Um, I have in the past ran my tucker, tucker, my spreader like that to set it, but I found this really thick material. It really kind of works to get set up on the pin with a knee kicker. But this is where this really shines. I'm not having to bump this with my knee. And, you know, one knee surgery was enough for me. So it does work kind of goofy, right? So it's going to hinge like this, just like a, a, a stretcher. But it's sticking into the back of the carpet here. So it is going to give you a little bubble behind whatever you're stretching. That's why I don't really like the idea of stretching with it. But I do like the idea that it's that it's taunting that carpet up front to set on my pins. You do need to run it in a little bit of an angle if you want to. If you can kind of visualize that, so when I go to stretch, that's that's what I'm pulling. So I'm going to run this in a little bit of an angle right here and stretch up to that door, so I can when I go to stretch to this, that wall is set. So you can. You can hear it just go right through that backing. Let, let me show you the bottom of this real quick. I don't know, Chris, if you can show them. Same teeth as your knee kicker, as your carpet stretcher. So you got the same teeth going through your material. It is important though to have some weight on the kneeless. And the reason is, is it will rake really bad on that backing if it's if you don't have this slam down in there. I, uh, the dude from Canada that made the, made this um, product, I believe in his video, if you watch him using it, you can see him kind of pushing that down. I found out through um, working at my shop what happens, you know, if you don't. It's just going to rip the, that backing up. So I've got my angle here. I'm just going to slam down. I'm not really trying to get like way back there type stretch. All I want to do is get it so I can hook my material. But you see, now watch this. Chris, I want you to show right there. If you can see that, guys, watch that carpet. Now I know it's not hooked there, I get that. You see that moving in the camera? And then my last one, I'm just gonna put right there. So now I've got you know, I don't, I don't know, some of you guys don't like that little pull test, but you can see that material is hooked on your tack strip. And I'm not having to bump it up with, with a knee kick and hurt my knee. Hip, lower back, you know, all that good stuff. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down my entire set wall. And I'm moving this thing, I don't know, nine inches to a foot maybe at a time. Just setting that carpet in there. And you can see, you know, I'm not in a hurry with it either. You know, we're not trying to break any speed records today installing. But now, I'm confident knowing that when I go to stretch that way, I can leave this up here. I can come and cut in when I'm all done. I can leave this carpet coved up the wall because it's got such a good tight hook on the tack strip. So um, we're actually gonna, you know, to make this video a little shorter, I am going to, I'm gonna stretch everything this way and then I'm gonna show you guys how I use the kneeless to set a closet prior to stretching in. Stay tuned. We're gold. <laughs> all right, welcome back. So we have our stretch all done that way. I decided to, get that finished up. So what we're gonna do now is I've gotta set this closet prior to stretching the opposite way. And again, before what I would do is take my knee kicker, go in there, 
bump, 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 boom, stretch. Well, you can still do that. I don't, I don't think there's a, uh, uh, anything wrong with that. That's a correct way to do this. This is just how this tool can help, especially on these thick, thick pieces of carpet. So again, I'm gonna go ahead. I like, I always start in the middle. I mean, I don't, again, I don't think it's, I suppose if you wanted to start there and work that way, as long as you get, as long as you get the carpet flat, get it taunted up in there, I think you're gonna be okay. But I always thought like I can take half of it that way, half of it that way. I've, that's, I've always liked that idea. So here we go. We're gonna start here. I've got my angle. So there's my stretch coming through there. And there's a bubble here. I don't know if you can see these bubbles. I'm sure this will this will take it out. Barely, barely moves that. That's why, again, I don't believe this should be used um, in lieu of power stretching. I believe you should always power stretch. But I believe this is a better tool than a knee kicker for this situation. Thick piece of carpet. Just going to hurt like hell trying to boot this up here. So again, I'm just going to keep moving. Look at this. Yep, I got my wrinkle back there. I'm keeping everything tight up here. I'm going to pull this one more time through here. Notice how everything right through there tightened up, laid flat. Plus, it lowers the chance of smacking your head into something in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Great observation. Or your back. Or your Scratching back. Scratching on you your can, back. You can, uh, you can slow down. I Believe me, as I've gotten older, it's, it's, it's all about slowing down. Um, now look here again. We've got we've got this wrinkle. I could probably pull that back and just manually push that out with my hand. But instead, what I'm going to do? There we go. That's that. What I was talking to you guys about. You want to be careful because what'll happen is that if that snags just right, it's going to start tearing out fibers. It'll start tearing out your carpet fibers. You don't want that. Mm, it's taking it out. Yeah, the wrinkle's gone. All right, so we've got everything stretched. Sorry, I don't like that word stretched with this thing. I, I, I think it, it's a misconception then that I'm actually stretching the carpet. I'm not. I'm setting the carpet in there, but I want everything flattened out prior to that. I want everything set on those pins. Now, I am going to, instead of setting a knee kit or setting a power stretcher up in a closet, because who really, let's, let's be honest guys, we're in the real world, who really wants to do that? I've done it. Um, closet's big enough, just depending on how I'm feeling, I, I'll do that. Um, oh, Chris, you're going to stop the video. Guess who doesn't have any more knife blades? <laughs> we got knife blades. So, so I think I'm just going to have you go right there and kind of... You know, you're going to get a lot of my rear end here, guys, but some say that's my better, my better side. Now, comment below. What do you think? We're going to trim this up. So what I'm going to do in here again is I'm just going to, I start in the middle. I'll take a little out that way, a little out this way. I'll just flatten her up. There and there's my little wrinkle. Nothing major. So now I'm going to switch to this way. Oh, there I go again with that, right? I'm still pretty new with this tool, guys, so bear with me. flat. I'm tightened up. I'm going to go ahead and just set this right here. I got that set on the pins. And I want to let Chris cut everything in because I'm such a nice guy. So I'm going to leave that and we're just going to go ahead and tighten this up over here. That's maybe a little too much of an angle. We'll go right there. You kind of see I got my angle. So really I'm just going to pull from there to there. I, I would, you know, if you wanted to make the argument that you can move that with a knee kicker, I bet you can. But again, why? We've got a tool that can do it for us. Make, make our lives a little simpler. Now here I'm gonna have to go a little bit of an angle. Move it in. Now, 
again, I had talked about earlier, really don't like the pull the carpet up test, see how tight your carpet is, but come in here, just check this out. You know, this little area here, we moved all that stuff around. Look at that. That's a closet, and it just wants to kind of pop down like that. I mean, we all know it's going to be full of stuff when we're all done here. All right, so we're going to go to the other side now. Do the same thing. Pull my corner. I always like to pre-cut my corners, especially, you know, with an 82-ounce carpet. This stuff is heavy. The worst time putting this carpet in is just getting it into the house. It's so that it's just that heavy. But it's so, oh man, it's just having to walk on. All right. So I got my pieces out of the way. And I'm gonna also recommend that when you go to pick this up, you come straight up. Don't pull it one way or another because of those teeth. It's just like your carpet stretcher or your knee kicker. You don't wanna, you know, you just pay attention to what you're doing. So I'm gonna kneel. Slam. I want to use the word stretch all the time, but I, that's a bad word to use this thing. Put up there. Maybe one more. Let's see how I got this shelf in my way. No big deal. I set my back wall there. I just got a couple stretches to take here. And like I said, guys, I ain't stretching. I ain't, I ain't moving this thing like I'm trying to stretch in the whole stinking room. You know, I'm just trying to flatten out my carpet in here and tighten it up, and um, just put some tension, put some tension on it. So now that I got that done. What I normally do, like when I've got little walls like that, I don't, I don't see that it's never been necessary for me to take this on there. I'm comfortable in the fact that I know I have it set back there and I have it set right there. That if I just crease it down, you know, there is a little bubble there. That's what I did like. I did not want to do over there. I did not want that bubble um, because it can just pull right off. I'm, I'm willing because I can I can feel that I am tight tight on there. Go back over here. I'm going to use this one. I'm just going to crease it, 45 it back down there. I'm just kind of do a light stretch. No, we don't have any baseboards. So at times in my corners, I do like to make little cuts to take some pressure off those corners. I don't know what it is about perfect corners and stretching and those being sometimes issues. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to finish stretching. I'll check in with you one more time. Um, thanks again.